Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to some more World of Warcraft. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of things that you guys can stockpile on in preparation for Legion. So with the new expansion Legion coming right around the corner, there's going to be a demand and increase in price for a lot of things inside the you know auction house. And I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of things that I've been stockpiling on for quite a while now and things that you guys should start doing as well just to maximize gold and you know be available for when Legion hits. So now I'm going to go over a couple of different categories that you guys should stock up on, you know, ranging from transmog to pets um, to craftables to materials stuff like that you got you guys can save up for and put on the auction house when legion comes around the corner and maybe even a little bit later after legion when things are going to go up in price maybe so we're going to hop into the first thing which is going to be pets now you guys can see here that i've been stockpiling a little bit of pets that i've been farming recently over my stream and i do have some transmog items as well but i'm not, i'm going to do another you know category of transmog items later on but first we're going to hop into the pets now we're going to go over every single pet and what i think they're going to go up in price to etc so the first one is going to be the disgusting oozling now I have a video on this you guys can go check that out I'll be putting all the all the uh, videos down below in the description you guys can go click on all of them but here's the disgusting oozling this thing is selling for 4k right now and I range that'll probably go up to about 6k is hopefully what I'm hoping uh, I don't think it's a really really rare pet or anything so I kind of don't expect it to go up in price a ton but I'm hoping it does so basically I just hope all these things go up in price as of now we also have the new Felbat pup which I made a video on as well this is the new pet that came with the legion and the invasions and everything that you guys can spend your nether shards on and stuff like that it's a really really cool pet I have already sold one for 7500 they have dropped down to 2000 but that is just because the demand for them is just not very high right now because there's so many people that can get them and uh, a lot of alts can get them as well very very quickly um, also so all the whelplings I have just been farming like crazy because I have a feeling these things are just gonna go up in price they've always done really really well on my server and I just expect them just to do better when Legion hits so first we have the Azure whelpling which is located over in winter spring this bad boy is going for 10k right now I'm hoping it goes for above 15 maybe even 20,000 is usually it used to be around 20 25,000 on my realm a lot but uh, ever since the new group farming came out man it's just really tanked in price uh, same with most of these also, the Crimson Whelpling is going to be one that I hope goes up in price as well. This is located in the wetlands. Uh, you kill a bunch of these guys that just spawn all over. Um, first, uh, next up we have the Emerald Whelpling. Now, this thing is kind of easy to get, and I don't know why this one jumped up in price so, so much, but it jumped up to 19000 like in a matter of two days, and I have four of these, so you guys can do the math here. I have quite a bit of these saved up for Legion, and hopefully it goes above 20, 25K is what I'm really expecting. Um, the Bronze Whelpling. Now, this one has really never been up in price a lot on my server, and I I really don't know why because it's a really nice pet although it is kind of easy to farm as their uh, as the mobs spawn very very quickly and around each other so this one is located over in um i'm not really sure you guys will see it down below in the bottom i forgot the name of it um okay oh the blast lands that's what it is next one is going to be the dark whelpling the dark whelpling going for 4200 these are very, very, very easy to farm over in the Badlands. Like, you can get so many kills an hour. I've gotten three of these just in one hour before, and that's that's not really as much. I've seen people get, like, five and six an hour, so I would recommend going and farming these. Very, very simple. You guys can get, like, a few in an hour or so. Uh, some, you know, knowledgeable ones are going to be, like, the Imperial of Manaphine. Uh, this one's basically just made, or no, found over in Rares in, like, Tanan and stuff, like, over over there. Oh, no, these ones are actually found in High Mall off of the ones in High Mall. Uh, we have Chrominius. This one is just, like, a very, very easy battle pet. I don't know why I put it up here. I just kind of... I'm, I'm probably going to sell a couple of them when Legion hits, so I just put them up here. Tiny Carps are one of my biggest sellers, and I make a lot of gold off these Tiny Carps because they're very, very easy to fish up. They're not really time-consuming. I get one about an hour, one each hour, um, and you just fish them up in Pandaria, man, when you're when you're bored. I usually do it when my video is rendering, so that way I can just, because I can't really play while my while my video, or while my video is rendering because uh, I can't really move. My computer kind of just stalls, and all I can do is fish. So we got that one. We got the Tiny White Carp as well. And then Battered Hilts, these things went up to 40K about a week ago, and I don't know why. Why? They went up from 14k to 40k in a matter of like two hours or something. It was absolutely nuts. Now they're back down to 10k, but I'm going to be stockpiling these. These are going to be a big hit when I think Legion hits. I'm hoping these goes above 20k. That would just be absolutely amazing, and I'm hoping to get about six is what I'm going to try to go for. So guys, let's go over to the transmog list and start looking at that. All right, everybody. So I'm now here on my bank. Oh, this is where I basically go and store everything that I want to you know, save up for Legion. So this is for the transmog items. Now, I don't really have a lot of my big valuable items right now. I kind of have them on the auction house because they are still selling good at the moment. Like, uh, for example, thought cast boots, salt stone shirt coat, salt stone shoulders. I actually do have a couple inside of here as of now. But those ones, like the thought cast uh, boots, those are going for like still 15K. And I'm, I'm definitely going to be selling those a lot. I've already sold three pairs of them. So those are really, really nice sellers. Um, so some knowledgeable ones I would go over here is like the stone bark gauntlets. I sell these things like candy and I can never really keep them. So I'm just keeping like a three or four over on this guy so that way I can save them up for Legion, obviously. We have a couple ones like salt stone girdles. You know, salt stone is a very, very good seller. 
And where it comes from is it actually comes from Dire Maul, the old dungeon you guys can go solo that. Most of you guys can solo that, I would think. We got some Tyrants. We also have some more Salt Stone like that. I think I have a couple pairs of Salt Stone Shoulders. Um, Steadfist actually sells really, really good. You know, the chest plate. I sold actually four different, uh, you know, Variants of chest plate of the Steadfast one, like I sold the wolf, the bear, the whatever ones. I don't really know all of the names for them, but there's a whole bunch of them that you guys can stock up. Like here's a pair of salt stone right here. These things sell for an average of 5,000, and I sell these things about, I don't know, like three, four a week, and they're just going off the shelves. I can't really keep up with it that much. So salt stone is a really, really good seller skeletal shoulders and most of the uh most of the transmog places that i like to farm is like razorfin downs dire mall oldman shadowfang keep etc stuff like that it's just super super simple to farm and a very easy uh you know route to take um what are the ones we have like a century cloak this one actually comes i got this from the wetlands we also have silk sand which sells really really good and patterns now, i don't know if i have any on this guy but there's these patterns that um they're like the or I really hope I have one because I don't really remember the name of them, but they sell for like four and five k, and you actually get them from Pit of Saren. I get them all the time when I'm farming for my battered hilts, and you guys can also stock up on these lucky shirts, which is a vendor located on the docks of Stormwind that you guys can buy from. And you guys can just buy these. These are going for 325 gold, and you can buy them for 80 gold. So that's super awesome. And now one crafting item that, that I would kind of recommend out of all of them would probably be like volatiles and maybe some of these sorcerers earth. These things are actually going for a minimum of five gold per right now because these are used for the uh, hexweed bags. And it's just super simple to get them. You get them from like your dailies and stuff. I'm running low on them because I've been making a ton of hexweed bags, which you guys will see here in a little bit. But I would just recommend saving up these sorceresses. Um, is that how you say the word? I don't really know. But I would just recommend saving up a bunch of these. Go get your fell lights those will sell before legion hits and uh yeah guys so that's just good for materials and a transmog so everybody as i just said i talked about hexweed bags and saving them up i have been actually saving up a lot of hexweed bags because not only are they going for 1k each when legion hits they're going to be one of the most easiest ones to craft but they're also going to be one of the highest bag slots to craft as well so i believe they're going to go up to at least 2000 2000 gold in price is, ho is what i'm hoping for and right now i have exactly 26 of these saved up right here and 26 times 2 is quite a bit so i'm I mean, that's pretty easy gold that I'm hoping that I get. Um, they're just very simple to make. I get them all from my dailies, you know, doing my tailoring dailies, doing my uh, garrison, you know, tailoring porium. Just super simple things that you guys can stock up for and a recommendation from me that you guys can stock up for for Legion. Also, I don't really, I'm just keeping some sort of fur to make these bags. I don't really think it's going to go up in price too much, but um, just stock that up just for your bags as well. Same with the Sorcerer's Earth, like I said. But anyways, everybody, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys are actually stockpiling for legion if you are and maybe i can get a couple ideas for myself and also let me know if this if this video has helped you out if you're going to start stockpiling for legion as well because when legion hits everybody's going to be making a lot a lot of gold because people are going to be spending gold there's going to be a lot more people on wow but anyways everybody like i said leave a like if you guys have enjoyed i will see you on the next one my name has been justin peace out everybody